So kamayat dvitiyo ma atma jayate te samanasava chang mitunang samabhavadasanaya mrityuhu tadyatreta asit sa sangvatsaro bhavan nahapura tata sangvatsara asa Tame tavantang kalama bibaha yavan sangvatsaraha tame tavata kalasya parastadisrijatta tang jatam abhivyadadat sabhang karot sabhana karot saiva vaga bhavat Text 4. He desired, let me have a second form, body. He, death or hunger, brought about the union of speech, the Vedas, with the mind. What was the seed there became the year, viraj. Before him there had been no year. He, death, reared him for as long as a year, and after this period projected him. When he was born, death opened his mouth to swallow him. He, the babe, cried, Ban! That became speech. It has been stated that death, in the order of water and the rest, manifested himself in the cosmic egg as the viraj, or fire, possessed of a body and organs, and divided himself in three ways. Now, by what process did he manifest himself? This is being answered. He, death, desired, let me have a second form or body through which I may become embodied. Having desired thus, he brought about the union of speech or the Vedas with the mind that had already appeared. In other words, he reflected on the Vedas, that is, the order of creation and joined in them, with his mind. Who did it? Death, characterized by hunger. It has been said that hunger is death. The text refers to him lest someone else, Viraj, be understood. What was the seed, the cause of the origin of Viraj, the first embodied being? That is to say, the knowledge and resultant of work accumulated in past lives, which death visualized in his reflection on the Vedas, there in that union became the year, the prajapati of that name who makes the year. Death, Hiranyagarbha, absorbed in these thoughts, projected water, entered it as the seed and transformed into the embryo, the cosmic egg, became the year. Before him, the viraj who makes the year, there had been no year, no period of that name. Death reared him, this viraj who was in embryo, for as long as a year, the well-known duration of time among us, that is, for a year. What did he do after that? And after this period, that is, a year, projected him, that is, broke the egg. When he, the babe, fire, the first embodied being, was born, death opened his mouth to swallow him because he was hungry. He, the babe, being frightened, as he was possessed of natural ignorance, cried, Ban, made this sound. That became speech or word. Namaste. So the specific details here are not as important as the overall theme that the first being in the universe then began to divide himself into others and project these different bodies composed of the material elements into the nascent universe. And this is the beginning of the creation. Now, how is it that Brahman, which is one only, not of a second, with no boundaries, no limitations, 
no divisions, no parts, and no qualities. How is it that this Brahman becomes the world, the universe, and manifests different forms with different qualities and so forth? And why? Well, the answer is given that Brahman wanted to know himself. He wanted to see himself. He wanted to know who he is as it is from the outside. He knows who he is from the inside. I am great. I am everything. But from the outside, he wanted to see how he is perceived by others. So first of all, he had to create the others. And he had to create a world in which these others can exist. So he made the world in his own way, after his own fashion. And this is the world that we have now. You know, why are there five elements? Space, air, fire, water, and earth. You know, why not six or 17 or five and a half? You know, <laughs> this is his prerogative because he is the supreme. He gets to decide how everything is done, how it works and how it is put together. This is the creator. This is God. So the important thing is he wanted to create all these beings to reflect his consciousness back to him and show him who he is and how he appears to others. Sa aikshata yadiva imam abhimangsye kaniyo nang karishya iti Sataya vacha te nat manedam sarvam sasrijita yadidam kincha richo yajung shi samani chandang shi yagnyan prajapasun sayad yadeva srijata tatadatumadrityata Sarvam va ati tadang itera dititvam Sarvas yaitas yata bhavati Sarvamas yanam bhavati Ya eva meta ditera dititvam veda Text 5 He thought, if I kill him, I shall be making very little food. Through that speech and that mind, he projected all this, whatever there is, the Vedas, Riks, Yajas, and Saman, the meters, the sacrifices, men and animals. Whatever he projected, he resolved to eat. Because he eats everything, therefore Aditi, death, is so called. He who knows how Aditi came to have this name of Aditi becomes the eater of all this and everything becomes his food. Seeing the babe frightened and crying, he, death, thought, although he was hungry, if I kill him, this babe, I shall be making very little food. The root man with the prefix abhi means to injure or kill. Thinking thus, he desisted from eating him, for he must make not a little food, but a great quantity of it, so that he might eat it for a long time. And if he ate the babe, he would make very little food, as there is no crop if the seeds are eaten up. Thinking of the large quantity of food necessary for his purpose, through that speech, the Vedas already mentioned, and that mind, uniting them, that is, reflecting on the Vedas again and again, he projected all this, the movable and immovable, animals, plants, etc., etc., whatever there is. What is it? The Vedas, Rik, Yajus, and Saman, the seven meters, that is to say, Gayatri and the rest, that is, the three kinds of mantras, sacred formulae forming part of a ceremony, that is to say, the hymns, stotra, the praises, shastra, 
and the rest composed in Gayatri and other meters. The sacrifices, which are performed with the help of those mantras, men who perform these, and animals, domestic and wild, which are a part of the rites. Objection. It has already been said that death projected viraj through the union of speech, the Vedas, with the mind. So how can it now be said that he projected the Vedas? Reply. It is all right, for the previous union of the mind was with the Vedas in an unmanifested state, whereas the creation spoken of here is the manifestation of the already existing Vedas, so that they may be applied to ceremonies. Understanding that now the food had increased, whatever he, Prajapati, projected, whether it was action, its means, or its results, he resolved to eat. Because he eats everything, therefore Aditi, or death, is so called. So the Shruti says, Aditi is heaven, Aditi is the sky, Aditi is the mother, and he is the father, etc. Rig Veda, 1. 59.10. He who knows how Aditi, Prajapati, or death, came to have this name of Aditi because of eating everything, becomes the eater of all this universe, which becomes his food, that is, as identified with the universe. Otherwise, it would involve a contradiction. For nobody we see is the sole eater of everything. Therefore, the meaning is that he becomes identified with everything. And for this very reason, everything becomes his food. For it stands to reason that everything is the food of an eater who is identified with everything. So if you remember back in the beginning, we were talking about the horse sacrifice and how the horse is identified with Virat the all, by meditation. So, in other words, the meditator here also becomes identified with virat, meaning that the sadhu becomes the sacrificial animal, the horse that is sacrificed in the ashvamedha. So, in other words, the sadhu sacrifices the body and mind, the relative self, the empirical self, the individual self and the body and its attachments and so forth. He sacrifices this and becomes eaten by Virat. In other words, he becomes identified with Virat and absorbed into Virat. And because of that, becomes the eater of everything. In other words, he becomes Virat himself. So this is what Shankara said way back in the beginning. Well, it wasn't that many videos ago. That the result of performing the horse sacrifice or simply meditating on it is that one becomes identified with Virat. And this is the highest result that the Vedic rites can give. What is higher than that? The result of Brahma Vidya, knowledge of Brahma. Therefore, it is through the combination of both the performance of rites, whether physically, externally, or internally by meditation, that one attains the highest status in the material world, which is Virat, Hiranyagarbha, Brahma, or even Vishnu. And then by a further development of consciousness attains union with Brahman. And that is the pinnacle of self-realization. Aum Tat Sat, Aum Shakti Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.